we're back in the shop again today to talk about another product we have available for sale. Although not specifically an electrical component, this heater bypass block off is going to have a significant impact on the electrical system in your vehicle. Let's show you how. Here we have the basic architecture of the LS water pump. On the front side, we have the coolant supply port and the coolant return port. On the back, two ports supply cooled water to the engine block. As water moves to the engine, it is warmed and returned to the upper ports. Once back in the water pump, hot water has three passages by which it can travel. The most ideal location is back to the coolant return port, which directs water back to the radiator to be cooled. The second location is the heater core supply port. And lastly is the port located in the back of the thermostat housing shown here. If hot water is allowed to return into that thermostat housing, it will be detrimental to the overall cooling system efficiency. This happens in two ways. One, via loop heater core lines here, and secondarily by not blocking off the port in the back of the thermostat. Installation of the bypass block off is only effective if ports for the heater core are being plugged or a flow through the heater core is shut off when not in use. Installation of our kit is quite simple. First, adjusting the depth of the washer to mate off with the inside of the water pump. Once you do that and all your fasteners are tight, it's just a matter of installing this into the housing and then bolting your housing to the water pump as you would here. The thermostat housing is potentially two different sizes based on model year of your water pump or the style of water pump. You want to measure the diameter of yours first before you complete your purchase. If you need a new gasket, we also have an option on the website that you can add one. This is available at jwiresolutions.com.